yes, I am full-blown Icelandic for the sake of this video. We weren't joking when we said we were doing a video from Iceland, so here we are. And true to form, it is snowing and it's really, really cold and of course, we're filming outside. Because we're crazy. And we're committed to the Eurovision cause. Yes, if anyone doubts how committed we are to Eurovision, this is proof of it right here. Yes, sir. So, welcome to video number nine of Gastro Gays Do Eurovision. Nine already. Yeah. In this particular video, live via recorded video, we are going to preview four songs, which means we get to be out here in the snow for four whole songs. Yippee. And the countries that we are discussing today are Iceland, Macedonia, Serbia, and Israel. So, without further ado, let's talk about Iceland. So, the artist is Svala. The song is called Paper, and it's time to take a listen. Okay. So, you're in <laughs> their country, so be very fair. Oh, that sounds like you're preempting a bad reaction to this song. My opinion so far is this is a similar in style and song type to Belgium. If you're going to go between them, though, though in a battle head to head, so to speak, those two songs are on a par with each other. Yeah. Belgium is probably the better of the two. Why? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's because Belgium feels like it goes on a journey throughout, whereas Iceland's kind of just becomes a little bit repetitive. That's not always a bad thing. I said exactly the same thing about Dami for Australia last year. I said that that was a very, very repetitive song. The amount of times that she said uh, Sound of Silence wasn't very silent, so it was quite a lot. What's your thought? Kylie meets Banks. Oh, you mean Minogue, obviously. Kylie Thank Minogue. Goodness. Yeah. Only not Jenner. I really like this song. I think it's really contemporary, cutting edge. The one thing I will say is I wish... I don't say this often, oh God. but I want them to redo this song. And I want them to remix it and turn the tempo up maybe a time and a half because it's a little bit slow moving. The drop is not as dramatic as... That was the one just, thing we both wanted was a good drop and it just didn't do it. So, so I, close. I hate any country reworking their song, but I think if they tweak this just ever so slightly, it would do yeah. amazingly. So I, I am liking this. You hear that Iceland? We say two yes. thumbs up. The only thing we have to mention at this point is it's no Greta. And we are still a year on devastated that Greta didn't get into the final last year. But anyway, let's move on. Now we have Serbia and the artist is Tiana and the song track is Into Deep. Let's have a listen. Mm, Serbia, thank you. Okay, this is the type of song that I've been waiting for. <laughs> now I might not absolutely love it, but this is the type of track that since the beginning of these videos, I kept being like, oh, where's the goodness? And finally, we kind of have a song that sounds like a really well-polished pop record. Yeah. This would not go amiss in the British charts, in my opinion. It's a drum and bass vibe that does it for me. It's a little bit basic for me, but I do agree with everything that you say. It's a little bit Irolasco. Yes, Malta last year. Last very, year. very similar. Um, and I think if performed well, it will do well. So the song is great. Hopefully there's a great big performance to match. And yeah. If I, this video is anything to go by, actually, it's got to be uh, very Fifty Shades of Grey meets uh, Swing. Yeah. Uh, let's, Don't continue. No, it's a PG audience. <laughs> it's a PG audience, no. I think you can always count on Serbia to d deliver mm. Eurovision yeah. ability. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a nice word. Eurovision ability. Copyright. They always give a really, really strong performance, yeah. especially in the past five years or so. So I am excited by this Yeah, one. I'm really, really excited for that one too. Semi-final two, keep an eye out for that one. On to Macedonia, and we have Jana Brocheska with Dance Alone. Do you think we're flying through these because we're outside? Let's take a listen. One Thank word you. opinions. Macedonia. Thank you as well. Oh my god, what a great song. Yeah. Little Boots, thank you for returning to the fore. <laughs> that was like an album track of Little Boots. Which yeah, it's a little bit 2007. That's a problem. Yeah. 
because Little Boots was so off her time. Great music, great artists, and fizzled away, and no one really, sadly, hears of her too much these days. But I worry that people will then perceive this as a bit of a data track. I don't think so. I, I quite like it. I like the electro vibe. It's a cool song. Um, yeah. I have a good feeling about yeah. this. Uh, it's a little bit of a banger. Again, I'm not getting the drop and the bridge and the crescendo that I want, but... But do kind of electro songs always have those elements put in there? True, they can be a bit repetitive this on is, a loop. This is a pretty pretty good floor filler in my opinion. Yeah. I think this might do well. As, it is in semi-final yes, two. I was just about to say semi-final two, uh, which does need a couple of bangers. So this yeah. might really, really work. It is more of an open playing field. Yeah. And it is more of an us song. So, you know, maybe you out there don't think this way. So who knows? We yeah, really, excited. really enjoy this. I'm excited. Okay, we've had three really, really good songs. Are we gonna make it four? Oh, I hope we are, please. For the final track of this episode, we are going to listen to Israel. A warmer place than where we are right now. The artist is Imri Ziv, and the song title is I Feel Alive. I don't feel alive. I feel like I'm being frozen to death. Let's get over there. Oh, okay. Slightly downhill. <laughs> Three and a half out of four, I might say. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not against this song. Um, th again, I I can't diss this for being a bad song because it's not. It's a very, very, very good song. A very solid entry from Israel, who, generally speaking, aren't bad at Eurovision. The one thing I have to commend this song for is it might be categorised as a generic pop song, yet doesn't play by the rules of that, aka obvious rhymes. The mm. words were clearly written first and the music around it, which is so much, in my opinion, so much m more important. Because mm -hmm. I hate when things are obvious. Yeah. And in that case, excuse the annoying bird. No, I can't <laughs> shout at it. But anyway, uh, yes, that, that's my opinion on that song. I quite like it. I find it really boring, I have to say. And maybe it's just because of this collection of yeah. four songs have been so similar yeah. that it's after hearing all of them, it's a little bit hard to decipher which ones I like and which ones I don't. I think it's kind of the when Laureen won in 2012 everyone began to do a euphoria type song and this is like the hangover from that era I think and I'm getting a little bit tired of it so this is not my favourite song I have to say. Okay so we'll agree to disagree. Yes. Um, I think this will go down so well in the arena. Um, the performance, now in the video, if you did watch it, in the video there's a lot of people around dancing. Now obviously the rules state the amount of people you can have on stage, so you can't exactly have a big party on stage, which this song kind of gives that vibe of. Well he could do a Gaitana and like, and like have screens. Have lots of screens, yeah, why not? Maybe not though. But who knows? I really like this song. You're not so keen on I'm it. I'm not sold. Okay, we'll wait and see. Bear in mind, everyone, though, that we have not heard any of these songs. We've literally, We're just literally been playing them yeah. from this on a street side in the middle of Akureyri in northern Iceland. So all of our opinions and our thoughts are on that very first listen, and we know nothing about the song or the artist. We literally just press play. So please bear that in mind if there's something we should know about the artist, uh, if there's something we should know about the song or if there's you know foreign languages that we may not speak mentioning it. Yes. It would be nice just to consider that because at the end of the day the reasons why we decide to do these videos exactly like this is because millions upon millions of people in May who aren't as keen on Eurovision as you and I are won't have heard all these lovely stories before they'll be judging it on the song and the song alone and probably the performance because that's quite important but anyway that's the point so bear that in mind please so thank you for watching like comment share subscribe yes. and tell all your friends to watch as well we will be back again with our next episode featuring quite a lot of countries at this rate because so many countries including lithuania and norway and russia uh, God, so many have released their songs, so we're going to give you the opinion on them in the next few episodes. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.